Hi, Trina. Hi, Johnny. Sweat. These glands are on a mission, and it's not to prevent you from getting a date. Sweat's main job is to prevent your body from overheating due to temperature and physical activity. When your body gets too hot, your brain triggers your sympathetic nervous system, which tells the sweat glands to get to work. When we're sweating hard, perspiration can get as high as two to four liters per hour. The sweat travels along the gland to the skin surface where it evaporates and cools you off. Get too hot and your proteins can start to unfold or denature. You start to break down from the inside out. Yes, occasionally sweat is embarrassing, but it also beats the other alternative, which is panting like a dog. Hi, Trina. Hi, Johnny. I think I'll stick with sweat after all. The glands that cool us down are eccrine glands, and they're everywhere. You have about 2.6 million on your skin, with the highest density being on the palms and soles. They produce a watery fluid made of sodium chloride, potassium, ammonia, and organic compounds like lactic acid and urea. Eccrine glands are triggered by the sympathetic nervous system. This is responsible for regulating our body temperature and our flight and fight response. Which is why chatting with Mr. Hunky over there can really make me sweat. The second job of sweat glands is to signal your mate. Hey, I'm over here. Hi, Trina. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Mr. Hunky. Can you smell me? I'm right here. This is the job of African glands. There's a lot less of them, and they're found mostly in the axilla, the abdomen, the scalp, and the groin. Instead of emptying onto the skin, the African glands open into the hair follicle and mix with the sebum to produce a thick, oily liquid. By itself, the sweat has a mild scent, but our native bacteria love to snack on the sweat over time, creating compounds with less than attractive scents like the smell of onion, cumin, and goat. Not exactly popular in fragrances. Hyperhidrosis happens when you sweat too much, and bromhidrosis is what happens when the sweat is particularly offensive. P.U. But don't sweat it. In an upcoming video, we'll talk through what causes these conditions and what you can do about it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And follow me on Twitter and Facebook for more science fun.